Hi, this is Olivia Reinauer. I am the mentor for the Supremes cohort. I have just a very brief few slides for you today covering OER program resources. So this is going to be relevant to the budget and resources portion of your action plan. So um, the first thing that I recommend you do is to go back to module three of the online course and you'll recall that you had an activity in which you already have developed an inventory of resources um, both that you already have and that you may need in order to work with various audiences. So that's going to be very helpful for you. Uh, you also may want to take a quick look at your SWOT analysis and check and see if you've listed any resources there, either under strengths would be probably the resources you already have, or weaknesses may be uh, resources you are lacking. So the next thing that I recommend that you do in preparation for completing this portion of the action plan is, um, and you can ignore the times that are in parentheses here, this was adapted from a face-to-face -face activity, but um, you know, just get out a piece of paper or open up a, a Word document and um, using the activity from module three and your SWOT analysis and then any additional brainstorming that you want to do, Make sure that you're covering all of the categories that are listed in gray here and you don't have to limit yourself to only those categories but you do want to think about what you have already in terms of human resources financial physical which would be you know like your spaces um, technological and knowledge or training so try to give yourself some time to just compile everything that you already have and then once you've done that you can shift over to thinking about what you need so how you want to think about this depends on on your particular needs or goals um, you could think about what you need in in order to sustain your current oer program in order to grow your current or oer program or uh, you may want to just think about what you need in order to achieve your smart goals um, specific to this action plan so whichever one is most applicable for you at this point in time and from there, I think that'll give you a very nice um, document that you can use to write the budget and resources portion of your action plan. I would like you or I'd recommend that you work on your own first before um, viewing some of the sample resources that we have for you. But once you have completed your brainstorming process, it might be helpful to you to look at what last year's certificate group uh, came up with in their face-to-face -face activity regarding resources and um, the way that this is compiled is by the sort of level of development of the oer program so you'll see that they're color coded by sort of a introductory or beginner level um, emerging kind of program there's a middle stage that's a little more developed and then there's a more advanced stage of development. Um, and it's interesting to see that there are a lot of similarities among the resources uh, that each stage of development has and that each state of development feels that they need. So that's gonna be available to you in the video description. And that's really it regarding resources. You've already done a lot of work in this area and I encourage you to contact me or contact your um, cohort mentor if you have any questions at all. Thank you.